So next we have one of the co-founders of Shamiri Institute. She is also a PhD candidate at Harvard University and that's where Shamiri Institute was founded. And I'd like to introduce Catherine Ventura O'Connor. <laughs> Thank you very much, Natalie. Um, and it's lovely to be here. Um, really exciting to be at Shamiri in person. And thank you to everyone who's here in person and also over Zoom um, to see our presentations today. So I'll be talking about the effectiveness trials that we've done so far of both the full Shamiri intervention and its various component parts. Um, which Brenda already talked about a little bit, but I'll be talking about some of our randomized controlled trials. Um, so I'll be taking you on a bit of a journey from 2018 through now. And 2018 is when we conducted our first trial. So we had just designed the Shamiri intervention at Harvard at this point. Um, and we decided to first test Shamiri in a sort of moderately sized sample, 51 high school students, all from a high school in Kibera. All of the students for this trial and for several of our trials were required to have elevated symptoms of either depression or anxiety or both on a screening measure. Um, we also, once we had included those participants, randomized them to either an intervention group, the Shamiri intervention, which you all just heard about, or a control group, which was a study skills control group that was similar in duration and type of activities to the Shamiri intervention, but different in its content. So in this first trial, we found that from baseline to end point, which is the end of the four-week intervention, uh, the, those in the Shamiri intervention group were doing significantly better on measures of depression, anxiety, grades, and social relationships with friends than those in the control group. Specifically, we saw a 24% reduction in depression, a 29% reduction in anxiety, a 2.5% increase in grades, and a 14% percent increase in quality of relationships subjectively rated um, at endpoint from, from baseline to endpoint in those in the Shamiri intervention. Um, after seeing these sort of promising results, um, we decided to conduct another trial of Shamiri in 2019. This time, we wanted to recruit a much larger and more diverse sample of students, so students from not just one school, and to really adhere to some stringent international standards for quality of the trial. So we recruited 413 high school students from four different high schools in Nairobi and Kiambu. Um, and we pre-registered this study in accordance with WHO and ICMJE standards. In this trial, our results from the first trial um, replicated. So we found that, again, those in the Shamiri intervention did significantly better than those in the control group on our main outcome measures of anxiety and depression. And we found even at seven month follow up this time, so this is much longer follow up than we had in the first trial, those in the Shamiri intervention experienced a 35% reduction in depression and a 39% reduction in anxiety symptoms. Thank you. Um, we also tested Shamiri in 2019 digitally in a single session format, which we thought would probably be a very scalable format for Shamiri. So in this version of Shamiri, we condensed it into a 60-minute computerized version of the intervention, still containing the same elements, growth, gratitude, and value affirmations. Um, but this was more self-administered by the students in computers in their computer lab. In this trial, we found that Shamiri, again, reduced depression significantly from baseline to two-week follow-up. And we actually found that it reduced depression at that point by 41%, which exceeds the effects of the, by quite a bit the effects of your average in-person longer form treatment. However, we did not see the same results for anxiety. Although anxiety went down, it was not significantly, it did not reduce significantly more in the intervention group than it did in the control group.
We also tested Shumiri later in 2019 um, in a dismantled format. So what I mean by that is we wanted to see whether each individual component of Shamiri, which you might recall are growth, gratitude, and value affirmation, had different effects when compared to a control group. So maybe one of them is a little bit stronger than the others, or one doesn't have much of an effect on its own. That was what we wanted to figure out. So in this first dismantling trial, we, um, we separated the Shamiri intervention into its components, and this time did a universal classroom-based version of Shamiri. So previously, we had had small groups and selected individuals who had elevated symptoms. This time, we included everyone who was interested at the school, and we had large classroom settings in which the intervention was delivered. This intervention trial was also randomized by classroom, so cluster randomized instead of individually randomized, and we collected measures of symptoms at baseline and two-week follow-up. In this trial, we had, um, we had 895 adolescents total, and 299 of them would have met criteria for one of the previous trials, so had elevated symptoms of either depression or anxiety. Um, you can see the number of people in each of the intervention groups on the slide. It was pretty evenly divided across growth, gratitude, value affirmation, and the study skills control group. In the universal sample, so that's everyone included, all 895 participants, we found that the value affirmations intervention outperformed the study skills control significantly on a measure of anxiety. The effect size was small to medium, with the effect size being 0.31. Um, and we found, interestingly, that there were no other significant effects between groups on the anxiety measure, and also that there were no significant differences between the study skills group and any of the intervention groups on measures of depression. Within the clinical subsample, we saw somewhat similar results. So again, for anxiety, but not for depression, the values intervention outperformed the study skills control significantly. We also found that the growth intervention outperformed the study skills control significantly. The effect size for values was somewhat larger than for growth. The effect size for values was 0.49, which is a medium effect size, and for growth was 0.39, which is in the small to medium range. Again, we didn't see significant differences between the intervention and the control groups on measures of depression. There we go. Um, now, recently, we applied for a grant from the Templeton World Charity Foundation um, to conduct a larger and more rigorous trial of the differences between each of the individual elements of Shamiri, the full Shamiri intervention with all three elements combined, and our study skills control group. So this trial is titled Studying the Effects of the Shamiri Intervention and Its Components on Anxiety, Depression, Well-Being, and Academic Functioning in Kenyan Adolescents. And this trial we just finished data collection for recently, and we are now working on our analyses. Our hope is that it will help us to um, better understand in a more rigorous fashion the differences in the effectiveness of each of the parts of the Shamiri Intervention. Now, I have a few preliminary findings from these data analyses, which are currently ongoing. First of all, we have about 37% missing data on an item level on our primary outcomes, which are anxiety, depression, and well-being, uh, looking at the data that we have currently, which is through eight-month follow-up. So that is all of the data that we will be collecting. So our analyses, because this is a fair amount of missing data, um, will be conducted using multiple methods of addressing missingness, including just using all of those people for whom we have complete data, as well as using several approaches to imputation or sort of statistically filling in some of the missing values to help us run analyses with better power. 
We've done some of these preliminary analyses using complete cases and imputed data, and although I can't give you all the details of them yet, um, because we want to make sure to interpret them together and in context, our preliminary analyses have shown that all of the groups, all of the youth who received any of the interventions improved considerably on measures of anxiety and depression on, and somewhat on measures of well-being um, from baseline to eight-month follow-up. Our study findings, our complete findings, will be available very soon, um, but I unfortunately can't share them yet because we'll want to interpret them all together as well as interpreting in them in the context of intervention fidelity. The number of students recruited for this trial was quite large at well over 1,000, and um, we will want to make sure that as this was the first trial of that size, we understand um, how well training and supervision um, worked for the group leaders in this trial and to interpret the findings in the context of um, how faithful the, the group leaders were to the intervention protocols. So um, thank you all very much for, for listening to um, sort of the story of our trials so far from 2018 through today. Um, we look forward to sharing more data and more stories of our intervention um, with you in the coming years. Okay, thank you very much.